Well, all right. So you bought yourself a new camera. You got yourself the the body that you wanted. In this case, I'm talking about the Sony A6300. That's what I bought, and that's why I, I'm going to talk to you about this lens that I have attached to the camera right now. I have attached. I'm bringing up my computer right now. The uh, the Sigma 30 millimeter f 1.4 contemporary DC DN lens for the Sony E. It's the E mount. It's the Alpha. Uh, system. What I have right now, I don't know if I've already said it, it's the A6300. So, you buy yourself a body, and now you know you're looking, you're reading about bokeh, and f-stops, and you know the apertures, and the speed of the lens, and this is an f1.4. It's a relatively fast lens, meaning it gathers a lot of light, and it can make me uh, clear while my background blurry. It's bokeh is what it's called. It's a cool lens. It's a cool fast lens, and it's not without its drawbacks. That's why I'm doing this video today. I'm going to compare it to the little pancake Sony that I got uh, with the camera. This is a uh, 3.5 to 5.6, 16 to 50 millimeter optical image stabilized lens um, for the E-mount system. It has a little E-mount sign on it. Anyway, I'm going to talk about the Sigma lens that I have on here. I'm going to put a link below to Amazon where you could buy it if you want it, even if you want it after you've seen this video. Uh, the lens is... I love it. The specs are great. It makes great sense to have this lens on your camera. It does a great job of portraits. But what it does during video is it will stop focusing. A few people have complained that it will hunt and then not focus. And I think I've pinpointed it to uh, if I'm doing a video and I'm having a number of takes and the lens gets warm with the camera, because the cameras are going to get warm, uh, it will stop focusing altogether. It will, I'll just become blurry. So I take it off and I'm like, I, you know, I just want to, I just hate this lens. But right now I could be pretty clear. I don't know. I have a little monitor here and I look pretty clear on that. Uh, so I hope I'm clear during the final video, um, but uh, it doesn't last long. So it's actually on its way out, and later on this week I'm going to get a new lens from Sony, a real Sony E-mount lens, because this lens that came with the camera focuses fast, it's pretty sharp, and they're cheap. These come with the cameras, and you can you go buy them if you don't have one already for the E-mount. Uh, I'll put a link below to this lens, and what do you say we just get the Sigma in my hand and in front of you, and I'm not going to do a close-up of it, it's a lens, it's got glass uh, and a, a lens cap. So just hold on a second while I change up the, the, the lens and I put on this little Sony and you can see the, uh, maybe you can see how much glass there is on this. It's not a ton, it's not a super fast lens, but I'm going to put it up put it on and you can see the difference as soon as we go uh, in the in the image quality and the background should be brighter and I might be a little bit dimmer. I'm going to leave the studio lights uh, exactly as they are right now. So I'll be back in a moment so stick around. By the way if you haven't clicked subscribe, I'm Sean, you're watching my channel Rectum. Click subscribe, click the little bell icon. Uh, it's nice to meet you if this is your first time with me. There's a lot of content on here for you to look at. I'll be right back. Cool, thank you for sticking around. So I didn't change anything about my lighting or the, the camera. It's all the same. The memory card is the same. The shotgun mic is the same. The only thing I changed was I took off this Sigma lens and I put on the Sony 16-50 f3.5-5.6 optical image stabilized alpha E-mount retractable zoom lens. Retractable meaning the barrel will come out when you turn on the camera and it will retract a bit um, when you turn off the camera. Other than that, I put that lens on and I took off the Sigma lens. Let me know in the comments, do you like which image do you like better? The background's going to be clearer now, a little bit clearer, uh, because it's a slower lens and it's got a higher f-stop. It's f3.5 and right now I'm at f4.5. Um, because I am zoomed in a little bit. As you zoom in, the lens gets slower. If I zoom out and I'm at its wide angle, which is 16 millimeters, uh, I can achieve the f3.5, but then you get 
the most more of the room. So let's talk back about this Sigma lens. And to be honest with you, the Sony lens focuses fast. I think it's pretty sharp, and they're really, really cheap right now. They're under 113 bucks. If you don't have one and you have an Alpha camera, this is a great lens for in your bag. And at that price, um, if you break it, it's kind of like whatever at $113 uh, on Amazon, link below. Let's go back to the Sigma lens. So I've already told you it's a 30 millimeter, it's a fixed lens, it can't zoom. 1.4 uh, f-stop, it's a fast lens. It's got a nice piece of glass there. But, if you want anything other than portraits, and you're going to do a lot of video, I don't like this lens at all. The Sony I have on there is great. It's going to zoom in, zoom out, be clear, be sharp, um, <clears throat> uh, and it's cheap. I'm going to replace it with a, th a 35 millimeter Sony lens. I think it's an f1.8. It's already ordered because I do like the bokeh, and I do like that, and I do appreciate the Sony lenses but this Sigma lens at its price you know the price goes up and down uh, if I look right here I can tell you what I paid for it uh, in 2020 260 bucks so at that price um, currently it's 255 at that price for a portrait lens yeah I'm gonna recommend this all day long as a portrait lens and it's got the pedigree it's um, 0.98 feet is its closest so it's under a foot to infinity, of course, and it's made in Japan, so it's got the pedigree of, you know, Japanese glass, or at least the made in Japan sign, and, you know, Japanese lenses have always been uh, kind of the benchmark of lenses. They do a great job with grinding the glass. So it's got all that, and it's a big deal, uh, you know, on paper, but the focusing on video is horrible horribly slow. This is a great lens when your subject is there and not moving for a portrait. Um, for video, a kid's birthday party, chasing around the kids, it seems like a good idea because it's fast. It just doesn't focus very much. And then there comes a point at which it just doesn't focus at all. It's been my experience. And I've seen a couple of reviewers that say, you know, for video, it doesn't work very well. Anyway, I'm Sean. The channel is Rectum. Thanks for tuning in. I just thought I would throw this fast video up here and let you know my thoughts of the Sigma uh, 30mm f1.4 lens. Maybe you want it. Maybe you don't want it. Um, maybe you've had better experience. Maybe you've had the same experience. And the lens, I don't know if it says how much it weighs. Uh, it's beefy. It does... It does weigh a few ounces. It says that it's a half a pound, 0.58 pounds. I don't know if that's its shipping weight or what. So it's relatively, uh, item weight is 9.3 ounces. It's relatively weighty. It feels like a good, well-built metal lens, nice manual focus ring. Um, it's got all the, it's got all the desirable features. Just the problem, oh, and by the way, it's noisy. My camera picks up the noise from this lens. This, this is what prompted me to buy a shotgun mic. My camera will hear this lens, hear this little this little motor sound um, constantly in the background of videos. And it got to be, it's really bothersome. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to see you again real soon. My new Sony lens is going to come out. I'm going to introduce it. And maybe I'll do it side by side with the new Sony lens and the current lens. And you can see... Uh, the differences in what the image quality is and uh, you know I'm a big sucker for bokeh and a blurry background so anyway thanks for joining me I'll talk to you later it's been great bye bye